Hey, this is Stephen Moore. I got another quick tutorial for you on how to set up an IK chain uh, for a leg rig. This isn't a complete rig. This is just how to get that IK chain set up. So first thing you're going to want to do is hit Shift C to center your 3D cursor on the very um, middle of your scene uh, back to 0, 0, 0 on the XYZ axes. And then hit Shift A to bring up your menu and go to Armature Single Bone. Then you're going to want to hit 1 on your numpad and 5 to go into Orthographic. Move into Edit Mode and grab the bottom of the bone, put it up oh, about right near the pelvis where the leg connects. And then the tip of the bone or tail. Uh, throw it at the knee. Now we can't see that so go to the armature tab and turn on x-ray and you'll be able to see it again. Now select the tail end of that first bone, hold down control and click on the ankle and then click on the toe. Now hit 3 on your numpad and then you're gonna want to hit Z uh, if your character is like mine and you have the arm in the way to bring up the wireframe. Uh, and now I've selected the top of the bone and I'm just going to make sure it's right uh, in the thigh and then the knee and then the ankle and the toe. Hit Z again and you can move your camera to make sure that it's all placed correctly. Then you're going to want to go to the select your uh, thigh, go to the bone uh, tab and then uh, for this character, it's nice. it his left thigh. So I'm going to make sure that I uh, label these correctly. And then this is his left lower leg. Uh, and this is his left foot. And that sets up all the bones. The next step you're going to want to do is create some empties uh, that are going to help you control the IK chain once it's set up. So. Um, I put my 3D cursor on the toe, uh, and then I go back into uh, object mode, shift A, empty, uh, and then I like to use the circle. Hit 3 on your numpad, hit R, and then type in 90, and then enter. And for me, I like to, I think that's too big, so I bring it down a bit. That way it's an easy hand, uh, hand hold later uh, and it's red on the position then I select the knee in perspective mode and then hit three again and bring it out that will place it in front of the knee and out into space uh, and this will help the IK chain know which angles it should be pivoting at so back to object mode and then another empty, and this time I like to use the sphere. I think it's a little big, so I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm going to name this one the left E IK. And the, this uh, foot one is always is going to be left foot IK. Now those all set up, go into pose mode, select the foot, then you're going to want to go to the Bone Constraints tab and add an Inverse Kinematic. Uh, by default, it's going to uh, the chain link is at zero, which is to use all the bones. If you have a full rig, that will mean your whole rig will get kind of weird. So we're going to go to three, because that's one is the foot, two is the lower leg, and then three will select the upper leg too. And then with our we're going to fill in the target field with our lower or our left foot IK and the pull target to our knee IK. And the first time you do this it'll it'll uh, come off kind of weird. If so what I do is I just take the pull angle, bring it back to a 90 degree angle and then when you move the leg the IK chain should work. All right, thanks for watching my tutorial. Like and subscribe.